Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Uh, it is my honor and privilege that I have in, uh, in the online Smicha office, we have Chasha uh, Ingaman from an illustrious family known to everybody as Yerei Shemayims and uh, Sofrim Moyelim, uh, or maybe I even use the word of jack of all trades and master of all. Uh, we have Rabbi Gershon, Rabbi Yaakov Mendel Zirkin, who is a well-known cipher, and I asked him because we are approaching Elul, and the Rebbe actually uh, changed the world in a, in a certain din. Shulchan Aruch says that you don't have to, you, you, there's a tremendous chazaka on uh, if you buy yourself a good pair of fill and a good mezuzah, you could uh, assume that it's, as long as you bought it, why should it, and it was good, and you paid enough money, you got a good product, and why should you assume it's uh, a trouble? But the Rebbe started this whole thing of B'dikist Tfil and Mezuzahs, B'dikist Tfil and Mezuzahs. And uh, since that whole movement, we know that we find a lot of shaky things in Tfil and Mezuzahs that, uh, that you have to be aware of. So I asked Rabbi Zorkin, and now it's uh, also getting close to Chay if if he would share with us two things. First of all, share with us some things that a person goes to buy Tfil and Mezuzahs. A simple, a simple person like me and you who doesn't know too much the halachas of 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 safras. What's the obvious thing that you should be uh, be careful to buy and and just and not just take everything for granted? And second of all, uh, if you could share with us some stories, his father Oliver Shalom had a tremendous yachas uh, from the Rebbe, and the Rebbe showed him tr tremendous uh, um, honor. And he even sent him to Reb Moshe Feinstein to write his tefillin. If, if, if there's anything that he wants to share us, share with us about that story, that would be very helpful. So, without further ado, <coughs> Rabbi Zirkin, if you would like to tell us some basics when a person goes to buy, and then we'll speak about is issues, what could happen with time. Thank you, Rabbi Wilhelm. So first I'd like to say that um, it's an honor and a privilege to be involved in this program, because I think it's an important um, topic that many, many people, even Rabbanim, are not very well versed in, and they fall in line with whatever the ulam, whatever the world kind of leads them to, that's where they go. In fact, I'm going to tell you several stories, not necessarily several stories, but I'm going to tell you several instances where I, where I went with a shilas to Rabbanim, quote-unquote, and they puzzle things, and I asked them on what basis, and they show me a book with a picture. You know, and I was for him. We have many, many for him. There are no pictures in I was for him. And it's brought down why are there no pictures in I was for him. So it came to light. Pictures of letters? Of or? anything. Yeah. any halacha issue, there are no pictures in Sfarim. It's, uh, it's clear, black and white words, and that's it. Why is no, 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 no pictures? So we find what's interesting is there's a, ch a chas of Chovis Miltstocker. And he wrote a sefer on Chovis. And among the chuvas he he has their chuva about a kesem, about a, sp a, a, a spot, a, a spot, spotting. And how big is this, is, a, is the share? So he gave a share. There's a share there mentioned. Okay. And he actually printed. He had put a picture of that coin, that was in, in wherever he lived in Poland, of that coin. That's very nice. However, he thought he was simplifying. He it. thought he was simplifying it, make it make it user friendly that people can see and have a diagram. Years later, that safer was reprinted in a smaller version. So now that size of the kesem was smaller now too. Uh -huh. So the 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 polyotza, the result of what his help was made a chumra to the world. So we see that it's not always the best thing to look at pictures. You have to use your imagination, and that's what Torah is about. You have to. Torah, the, the Hashem says, "I didn't show you any images. You saw. You get. You all you heard was my voice. That's it. And if you can't take that for Torah, that's this week's parsha. Actually, if you can't, if you can't accept that, then goodbye. That's that's what way I am. It's straightforward. So what happens is, so the Rabbanim today, they don't know Safras. because it's a talent. Because it's a talent, but it's not a talent. It's a halacha. Right. And so because they don't know, so they rely on either the Safrim or those Rabbanim, quote-unquote, that 
printed svarim with pictures that they can use as a guide. But really it's a chasarn, because they're limited to what this sefer wrote, and they have no access to whatever anybody else wrote. Or are, you, you, are you telling me that the Rabbanim and the Alte Shtetl were different than the Rabbanim today? Absolutely. If you look at most of the Shalash Shul Svarim that are out there in the world, you look in the Hakdama, they tell you how, how they became a Rav. They spent so many years as a shaykhet, as a batkin, as a, as a so trader. They had first hand as experience. A, as a seifer, as a mail. They were involved in all these um, uh, trades, and then people came to them with shaylas. Look, you, you, uh, the, the idea of a halacha, and there's a das trader and there's a das balabayas. Right. So you have a shaykhet. A shaykhet is not supposed to be passing in shaylas on a behemoth. He's supposed to shecht. If he has a shayla, he's supposed to go to a rav. Not to the Rosh Hashachtim, and not to the the elder from the from, that's in the in the. In the it shakhtas. also becomes a megayah bedover because if he, right, back because, then it was the butcher also. That's right. So you so therefore you had to go to a rav. To, uh, the same thing as with a sefer. Sefer writes a, a, a peret film, a mezuzah. He has to, uh, he has a shaila. He can't be passing for himself. And who's going to go to the other sefer? He's going to go to a sefer that's of his kin. That you know that's going to uh, 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 pass like him, and but that that they go to business. That's not. The way halacha works. Halacha works, you go to a rav. There's a rav, and there's a, there are tradesmen. In every trade, you have this. Okay. So, Mamela, what happened in the world today is we have a whole ibikernish in how people are uh, passing in Shalas. We don't have, we don't have Rabbonim that know. For example, Rav Zaman Shimon's work in Al-Sham. He was a safer. He was a safer. He was involved in safers. He was involved in shchit. He was involved in trading. He was involved in contrast. So when you say your day is safer here, you don't mean your day. He knew the Allah. I mean, he also knew the. He practice. knew the facts. He knew the the, the, the hands-on material, and that's very important because it's one thing when you read a safer. It's an academic discussion. You go to any college; they have all kinds of, of studies about all kinds of things. But the see is how does this work? They haven't got a clue. Actually, the Gemara says that one of the things that Talmud Chacham has to know is Ksav. Ksav. Okay, so now let's talk. A regular layman that's okay. buying, buying a prepared so, fillin for his bar mitzvah boy, or he just bought a ha- renting a house. He's putting on, he putting on mezuzahs. What does he have to know? He did not learn ksav. Okay, he does not learn ksav. What does he have to do? So he has, so there's a, there's a munkatcher actually writes in Daka Chaim Yisholem. Daka Chaim Yisholem in the back he has a lot of um, bits, and uh, uh, bits and pieces of things. One of the things he writes there is he says it's very interesting. He says people buy houses. It comes to an electrical issue. They have, the to, they, they have to call a licensed electrician. They won't do it themselves. They have a plumbing issue. They have to call a licensed plumber. He uses that example yeah, back, back yeah, then? Those, yeah. <laughs> he says, but, but when it comes to mezuzahs, everybody knows where everything belongs. It's yeah. amazing. That's a question of which door. It's, I'm asking about but how about... I, I, I understand, but I'm, I'm just giving an example of how did a, some of the Elton and Abonim dealt with these issues, that they saw that this is a problem. That you have a problem. Why is that the, that the light you have to call a licensed electrician in Africa? And for the, for this halacha, which this is negated to your your life, eh, I, I know where to put it. I, I went to yeshiva, you know? Right. I went to so many yeshivas. I saw so many houses. I know where everything goes. Okay. Right. So I think the lawyer, the, the guy the, 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 that does his, his, serves his own case. Right. And, and look, I mean, do you want to do your own brain surgery? I don't think so. So what are you suggesting so, a person buying so, a mezuzah now? I know. I'm, I'm, I'm get, leaning up to that. So actually, in Shulchan Aruch and in, in Hilchus Tzvillin, it says... Oh, the Moksuk Bekashrus. You have to go to Adam. That's it. It says how to go and buy Tzvillin and mezuzahs. It says you go to an Adam that's Moksuk Bekashrus. That's all you have to do. You as a layman, you know nothing. You have to rely on the person that is... The mo- which is a very kashras. shady thing because everybody has a cousin who he thinks is a muhzibi kashrut. Right. So that's that's his. Uh, he's going to have to deal with that after 120 years. But him, he has to have some of that re- relationship. Some of it's muhzibi kashrut. From there, th- that's the Ben Shams geschäft. Okay. Now he buys it. He buys it. Based on that. When, why should a person, I, I, as I said before, the Rebbe pushed checking, checking, checking. And Shulchan Aruch says you don't have to check. It says if you wear tefillin every day, you don't have to check your tefillin at all. And your practice has shown you that if you wear tefillin, things could happen to the tefillin? I mean, besides the Rebbe's... No. Call him our Rebbe No. <laughs> That's my <laughs> notion. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm saying, but the Rebbe but, switched it. The Rebbe made this to this. I know. But the Vart is like this. So, but because we don't have... A, people that are mostly precautious, that are involved in the Zinyanim. And I'm going to tell you, since you mentioned about my father and the relationship with the Rebbe, so I'm going to tell a story where it's negated to this discussion. 
My father, at some point in history, he was using a gold pen to 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 check write and check film. Gold, 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 a gold tip feather. Okay. And Is my, that Kaylee Von Veil? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, do, you never. By the way, you never ask a question on a zirkin. Never. It's it's like a it's like a teyufta, no. Okay. So my uncle Simcha yeah. Shalom, he was nudging my father that no, the Babish Dominicus used guns and a feather. Yeah. T translate guns and a feather. To use a, a feather from a goose. Yeah. Okay. So the next time my father was in Yechidus, I don't know if you can make that as a, a minig dafka. Okay. I'm going to tell you. So he, was, the next time that my father was in by Yechidus, so he asked the Rebbe about this, and the Rebbe said Zaloshin. He says. Vibalt as safras is as zachfas as ebi gem so yederene. Darf me machen vos mer schwerigkeiten. Darf me machen what? Darf me machen vos mer schwerigkeiten. Now you answer all the certain. Uh, now that's I know. It. That's it. So translate so that in English so, for the people so listening. The, so the Rebbe was saying was that since safras. The concept of safras is something that anybody can just pick up a feather and write whatever they want, or fix or claim to fix whatever they want. It's something that anybody can do this. So we have to make it as difficult as possible to get into this field wow, of safras. Wow! Wow! You know, you just, it, I just spoke to somebody who uh, who cert, is a certified shaykhet. He impressed me because he says that he goes back every year to get every three years to get recertified. He says that's the policy. So he does it as the policy. I said, really, you have to get recertified. So he tells me a crazy statistics. It blew my mind. He says there's a st statistics in Israel that for for, for, for uh, something like twenty percent of the mezuzahs that's filmed that are written are not even written by suffering who have Kabbalah. And then he said a scary statistic. He says there's a statistic of of those twenty percent. There is a, st a part of them that are Arabs. That are, and I'm going to add to that that in the in every jail system. In the world, yeah, part of the system is they teach them trades, different right, trades. Right. In Israel, oh really? The trade they teach in jail is safras. And the, and the, and, and the they're self writing mezuzahs in film. And it's being sold. And it's being sold. <laughs> Hashem yeah. Yishmerenu. Right. Okay. So th and, and this was back uh, thirty years ago. I remember this story. It's interesting that a guy who who just uh, who's sitting in prison wants to become a surfer. Right. <laughs> right. Right. So that's as far as. What does the, the layman need to know when he goes by a sefer? By Tzvonimazos, he has to go to Yiddish Shemayim. Somebody that, that's very important. Him. That's the most important thing. Everything else is not important. The actual ksav is not important. Why? Uh, it, why? Because just like because it says okshartam okshavtam. Tell me, does the kshartam the kshira the knotting of the knot look perfect every time? No, but you get away. No, you get it's somewhat close. As good as good as best of better, but, but good but, is good. But, but good is good, right? So why is a chsaftam different? If you learn a chsaftam chsaftam to learn that that it has to be done by a yid and by a, a, a godl and all that, so too when it comes to what it actually looks like. Right. Now, so yeah, obviously chsavna is brought down as a beautiful thing, but that is that a, a ikuva? Right. It doesn't. It's not a. a it's a, a hinder mitzvah. It's a hinder. It's not. A, it's not hinders the mitzvah if he doesn't have it. But if a guy doesn't know what he's doing, it could be a, he didn't write it properly. Bechal. Right. Okay. But that's a, that has nothing to do with the, with the idea of how beautiful the ksav is. Right. So there's a mindset, and I'm saying this because it's, it's going to the public, I guess. So it's important to know this that there's a mindset that if every aleph of yours doesn't look exactly the same. Yeah. There's a problem with Yiksav. If every base doesn't look exactly And that's not true. It's absolutely false. Tell me, when you write any language, does every letter of A, Aleph, base, whatever it is, it gets look tiring exactly sometimes. the same? No, it's right. impossible. And especially when you're sitting and writing, and you're supposed to write it all in one, in one sitting. Okay? So when you start writing, you're fresh. By the time you're at the end, you're five, six hours later. It's tiring. You're, it's tiring. Your hands are tired. Your eyes are tired. You're not going to be writing the exact same letter. Okay, so to say that because it doesn't look the same, it's felt in Hidr, it's lacking in Hidr mitzvah. I have, uh, to be honest with you, I have not seen the word Hidr found by the Hilchas Tzvonim Azuzas. Not word. It's Bidiyavid no or, or it, Either it's Kasha or it's Puzzle. And Bidiyavid. Bidiyavid. It's Bidiyavid, but it's the word Hidr, by an asterisk it says Hidr. By Tzvonim Azuzas, the it's word Hidr. It says That's not Hidr. It's not Hidor. Okay. No, no, it's a different thing. Oh. Hidor, we're talking. I'm using oh. the word Hidor. 
Okay, so let's get back to the basics because uh, you're. I know Baruch Hashem, you're going. You you have to go also. So you're telling me that the first thing a person should do is make sure that who he's buying the tefillin and mezuzah. So do research, make sure it's a muchzik other muchzik Correct. Once you put it up there, uh, I mean, obviously the simple person doesn't know how to can't look at the mezuzah or tefillin and see ah this is good, this is not good. He he, he just trusts the, the muchzik bekashrus. He puts it up and he, or he wears tefillin. So as we mentioned, halachically, there's no reason to believe anything goes wrong. But what kind of stories do you know that things that happen to tefillin, or what's a red flag that you see on a tefillin or you see on a doorpost that you should say, ah, this this, this is a questionable, you should you should bring it to a cipher. So it's brought down, actually, that if, say, a mezuzah falls off. So before putting it back up, you should bring it to a cipher to be checked. Because it's a bad simon? No, it's not a bad simon. It's off. So... So the, rather than having to take it off and make it, make a new bracha or whatever, you, you give it to a sefer to check before you put it back up. To make sure, because when you put it up, it could be almost perfectly fine. Yeah. But it fell. So it's a new thing. It's, it's, a, it's like a new part of the, the mitzvah. And right. the tefillin? Tefillin, same thing. If it falls or it gets, it gets damaged, you see you, you bang a corner or something Or it's like left that. out in the heat. It's left okay. out in the heat or left in the cold. Either one could uh, damage the, the tefillin. It could, not necessarily will it, but it can. But it's suggested to bring it to the so, cipher then. Yeah, then it would be suggested to have it checked. If it hasn't, and the Rebbe always used to stress, if it has not been checked within the last six months, to have them checked. So just to do it every every couple of months is Nishkan Indian. Right. Because it's right. also Nishkan Indian, stamped a pot, it's not, it's it's not, a pot and guilt. And pot and not and just... Right. Yeah, right. right. Um, and that's another thing I want to say. Not because somebody comes to to have his film checked, does that mean you have to find the psalm in it? Right. And the same thing is Fakhet. Just because the surfer didn't find the soul in it doesn't mean that it didn't need a bedikah regardless. Right. Because it could be you haven't checked it in so many years and it was due for checking anyway. But again, now you're contradicting yourself. No, what do you I'm mean? saying in terms of the mezuzah. The mezuzah says it needs to be checked. Once every seven Twice years. Twice in seven years. Twice, Twice in seven, seven years. years. Okay. So that by the mezuzah And why would that have to be? What, what, because, what? because of elements. Because it's outside, it could be the rain, could be. That's an uh, outside door, but how about an inside? But, but it gets once when I'm a when I'm a chalik. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So, so you're saying the moisture in the house, whatever something. Right, there's moisture in the house too. That's why it says certain rooms don't need a mezuzah because of the the zuama, right? Whatever. But the point is that there is some things going on in the house that you know can in fact you have a kitchen. The kitchen is going to create some heat or whatever. Now, when you said zuama, I thought I thought it's always because of the schmutz in zuama. Okay, so the word zuama is a very ambiguous word. Translate because, in English, first of all. What the zuama? Ambiguous. <laughs> <laughs> zuama means moist. Could be damp. Could be dirty. It could be sweat. Could be sweat. Moist. Yeah. Okay, so we find the word zuama like a, like in a in a washroom. It's not dirty. But there's zuama, the sweat from the from the water and heat. Right. Okay. Whereas you have zuama in a place that's dirty. So the word zuama is used in so both places. Things uh, a bathroom has zuama, so you don't put on a mezuzah. Even though the bathroom is the nicest room in the house. <laughs> in some houses. Yeah, but from the other hand, it's 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 a it's a tumadik of zuama. I mean, you're, are you telling me that there's rooms that uh, if you're doing work in a room that it creates moisture, you're not? I mean, it's not, it's not true. If, if there's a, a watered room, a room that you use a lot of water, that's still mechoyv in Mezuzah. Well, questionable. Not everybody uh, agrees with you. As long as it's a base be- as long as it's... No, as, if there's Zuama... Like it, what kind of room? What type of room? A, a steam room. A, a, schmitz, a, a schmitz room? Yeah. You might... A schmitz, uh, uh, a schmitz not, because people are naked. Right. But I'm saying th- there's rooms that are uh, steam rooms. Now, I'm not saying a schmitz bud. Yeah. There's steam rooms that are meant for to heat a house that you used uh-huh. to have with, with steam. Uh-huh. So the, there's a lot of Zuama there. So the, so the, the, yeah, there'll be parts from mezuzah. Because nobody's going to sleep there. Because what? Because of the sweat from the from the from the mm-hmm. steam. Could you share with us some interesting things you found once you you opened the mezuzah, you opened the phone, but you were shocked. It, it blew your mind. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. There's a story that happened with me here in Minnesota. Yeah. I was here. No in, names. I was, even if I said names, you wouldn't know the difference. Uh, okay. I was here many years ago. I used to come regularly in the summertime yeah. to do uh, stay with my mother-in-law and, uh, and check. to check to one of I was called to a place in Winona, Minnesota. Yeah. That they were having a family reunion in two or three years. And they have a safe trader that came with them from the, from the family. And they want me to check and see if it's kosher. A safe trader. safe trader. 
So I said, yeah. So I come down to the place. The man must have been in his 90s. And he tells me that his uncle bred in this cafeteria for many, many years in Russia. Yeah. Okay. And they want me to check it. Now, I wasn't there to check Hasaviyata, meaning if there's any extra letters or missing letters. I was just checking to see, basically, it's a safe trade kosher. But as I was going through it, I see the letters are not. I mean, there's a lot of cracked letters and this and that. Okay, that happens. I come to a word. I'm not using a ticket. I'm not using anything. But it was the naked eye, I saw this word is wrong. What word? The word was betase. By, by, a, by a Saita. Yeah. Base, tough, tough? Yeah. Base, tough, it's tough. It's only found twice. Yeah. In and they had the word was base, tough, chaf. And it, it kind of fits into the story, yeah. but it was, a, as I, you know, when you look at it, you think you're wrong. How can it be the safe and read it for 75 years and sitting it? Could be that part uh, they didn't read. It does, everything is possible, but it's, how likely is it? Yeah. So I check in a ticket, I come with a ticket, and well, it's wrong. So I corrected it. But it's interesting that here you have a safer trader, and it's brought down actually, there's, there's a shadow of whether which is a more better safer to read from. If you had a choice of an old safer trader or a brand new one, which one should you use? I'm guessing the brand new one. No. Oh, because the other the one was used. The old one was the other one, the yeah. used one because it's been checked many times. Right. This one has never been checked. No which leads me to a, a very practical shadow. In Shulchan Naruch, it's mentioned, and I, I, the only place I've seen it is in 770. I, I don't know if I see it anywhere else. That you. Every Shabbos before before the Kriya, you have to check the Sefer Torah. You don't have to. Uh, it's, it's better. It's, I don't know what the Lushen, exact Lushen. It's, it's, but it, it, it seems to be, it's, it's, it's so, a very... So if you have a Sefer Torah, this I recommend to all Shluchim that come to me. If you have an old Sefer Torah that's all old to find mistakes or problems or cracked letters, the best thing is before Shabbos, go through it. But, go but, through. but just Chalang most of us don't know what we're doing. Good. So you don't know. So give it to a Sefer. And then it's costly. And, 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 uh, so it's costly, but uh, the Kapanim... And you do it once it's done. You, you do it, you know, you do it out regularly, because if it's an old Safer, today it's no good. Today it's fine, but tomorrow can be no good. So you have to constantly be on top of it. So, but yeah, if this is what... You, in other words, if this is important to you, just like you check, you know, it says, it's uh, them, it locked them, and it left them, there's certain things you check, no, no chachmas, right. so this is part of it. Okay, you, you, don't forget, you have an oilam of, of, of Bali Chuvas. People don't know anything about anything. And you're going to be, this is the only safe trader you have. It's Shabbos morning, you're going to lane. It's a problem. Right. What are you going to tell them? Well, we're not doing that. Like, really? This is what it's all about? So you, you, you mevaza Hashem, you mevaza yourself, you mevaza the Rebbe, you mevaza the oilam. Right. So for, for a few dollars, can the the whole geschafft. Any other interesting stories? Yes. I just, I'll tell you, that was the story of safe trader. Now we go to the film. I had a tefillin. It was a younger man of my age. Went to yeshiva together. And every year for his birthday, he'd write to the Rebbe. And the Rebbe always told him to check his film. Every year. Every year. And this wasn't a standard answer to everybody, right? No, it wasn't a standard answer. Something, something so, about him. Right. So he checked his film. Kasha. Next year, check his film. Kasha. This went through the whole motion. Every year, every year, every year. All right. Now... He comes to me, he's married three years, he has no children, and every time the Rebbe keeps saying him to check his film. This is before Gimbal Thomas. Before Gimbal Thomas, yeah. And, the, and he tells him to check his film. So now he gives it to me. He's three, married three years, he has no children. He brings it to me, and the word... And this is not to show off right, right, right away. You're not doing... You're saying... Uh, so, uh, this, <laughs> this, uh, this guy actually advertises this story uh -huh, because okay. he realizes that, you know... You have to be careful. You have to be careful. So it says, Kashi Nishba Lachav Secha. Yeah. The word Vulavisecha, the Yud was before the Saf. Really? And every year it was checked? Avaisecha. It's supposed to be. Avaisecha is Alevav. Alevav. Alevaiz Vav. Is there a Vav there? Alevaiz Samach. It's Alevaiz Saf Yud Chav. So instead of Alevaiz Saf Yud Chav, it was Alevaiz Yud. Avyoisecha. Avyoisecha. Oh, yeah. Shemish Merano. So. So at first, you know, you think, it's me. it, it got to be me. I mean, yeah. how could it be? You checked it all these years. Yeah. I don't know if I should say this part. Don't, but don't. I go down to my father. Yeah. I was then still the bachar. I was yeah. in the house. So I would show my father when I never had issues. So I showed the parshas to my father. I asked him, do you, have, do you know anything, see anything wrong with these parshas? I mean, not the letters I, anymore. I didn't tell him anything. I said, do you see anything wrong with these parshas? He looks at it. No. 
Now, you know my father. Yeah. You don't challenge my father. Right. But I figured I was in the... I, I knew I was in the right, right. so I could. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even we know we don't challenge him. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So I said... Look how long did he look at it? Did they say no? He checked. He checked the... And he didn't have the right one. No. So I said, look again. Looks again. That's Nothing. funny. That's funny. So then I said, look at the top line. Oh. He caught it. Yeah. So here he was prompted... And he knew I didn't come every day with him with the parsha just to look at it, and him calls that. So the point I'm making is that it's old. Oh, that person could just pass it. I have a crazy eye. I can I I have that, that kind of eye. If I see a word, a jumble word, and I know the word, you can have all the however shape you want. I'll find pick up that word right away. That's my eye. I see the word. Okay. So, but the story doesn't end over there. So he went back to the safer he bought it, but had good good parshas from a good uh Bab Musa Sefer in Night Shaul. He had replaced the parshas. Nine months later he had a daughter. Oh wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. And this is this this is from his Bamitzvah. He's getting this is bar mitzvah. every year the Rebbe says uh, every year they have a to check his phone. What's his iron? Uh, what's it, what's now? What, what So I'll tell you another story about Tfilin, but this is an interesting story as well. But but it just goes to show you something also. So it was a, a, a Baal Shova. It was once in Shul in Crown Heights. And he was putting on his Rabbein Atan film. And the Ritzua Shal Yad tour. Yeah. Well, there's a sheer how long it could be, I mean. So he went to the... So the Gabbai saw this. And he says, you know, he says, you know, I have... Uh, I'll see, maybe in Shemus there's some Ritzuas. Yeah. So he came across the Ritzua Shal Yad. It was Rashi. It was, it was Rabbein Atan and he was going to Rashi. That's what it was. Yeah, Milo so McCurdy. Right. So he, he is Rashi. How did he know what it was when he saw it? Because the Bible marked Rabbi Natan. Okay. So he said, you know, it's Rabbi Natan Parsha, the uh, Sua, but which you can use, but uh, try and get it changed when you get a chance. Yeah. Okay. So he put it on, everything was fine. And the way Sacha people are, they forgot, forgot about, about it. it. We gave it to. Suddenly, he has problems with his arm. Problems Shh. with his arm. Okay. And he writes to the Deb, and the Deb says, check your phone. Okay, you can give me your film from today to tomorrow. You wouldn't know that. I would never know what's going on with your Right. Never. Right. So it goes on, and every year he's, he's got problems, and the devil keeps telling him check. Anyway, finally, he was sitting in his chair one day, and in this chair they were talking, they were learning about the tzuas, about about the film. They were talking about how he's not oh, supposed to. Oh, the month he has to change his tzuas. He, he was learning over there that you're not supposed to use Rav Natan to Rashi, even though but you can use it, but it's best to to change to get it back to Rashi. So you remember the Amaisiv that happened many years ago, right away he went to buy a new Ritzua, and the problem with his arm went away. Wow. So when a person comes to me and he asks me... I get, I get chills when I hear these stories. I, so I, I, when, when a person comes to me and tells me, my phone kasha, so to the best of my knowledge. Yeah. I can't just argue that it's, it's kasha. I don't know what's going on. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And mezuzas. Yeah. I'll tell you still mezuzas. So I had... I'm not going to say names. Don't say names. There was a Rosh Hashiva in Morristown. <laughs> okay, it limits to who, but, yeah. but I was there for 25 years and had many different uh, yeah. stages of people. There. Okay. So this one, Rosh Hashiva, was a Fermak, and he would have his Tzulam and Mezuzah checked every year religiously during the month of Elul. Right. And he had good Mezuzahs, good Tzulam, he had good stuff. It's not like he had cheap stuff, and you know, some of them have. Yeah. But, yeah no, it's good stuff. And every year he brings me an Elul. One year, I get a call in Kislev time. Check my sister. From his wife. His wife never really got involved. It was usually him. So, can you check my sister? I said, yeah. Now, I didn't remember whether they checked in Elul or not. But it doesn't matter. And I, I don't like to mix into your business. You get, it's my business to check your phone. I'll check it first. Right. So I checked the mezuzahs. Now, okay. Now, you're it, checking it every now year. I'm checking it every year. Right. So, so, so It's your credibility. <clears throat> it's my credibility. It's my everything. Right. So... I look at the, the, so when I get the mezuzahs, I said, you know what? I should look a little more diligently. Why? It's the same, same mezuzah as, as anybody off the street. Look, it has the same right. shivas. But I'll upon him to give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay. I find nothing wrong with it. Now I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to give it back to him. I get tell him there's nothing wrong. He's expecting to find something. Why? Why? He had a mice in it? I don't know, but I'm assuming. Yeah. Why would he give me a kiss if he gives me an elo? Yeah. LMI, there must be something going on. Yeah. Okay? So I have to kind of think through what he's thinking. Yeah. And I'm saying to myself, okay, 
Right. Don't worry. Eighth tough time is the tough time. Anyway, calls, can I come back up to the mezuzahs? He said, yeah. So he comes back up, and I have to think of a plan. What, what am I going to tell him? Yeah. So I, and it came to me. Okay. So he comes to the door, and I tell him, he asked me, know anything wrong with the mezuzahs? I said, I couldn't find anything wrong with them. He said, but, I tell him, the Rebbe always used to say, when you say, Badika Samazuzas, Ba'ifan Hanachasan. Right. I said, I don't know what's going on. First of all, that wasn't always. It, I know, but many times he would say, Ifan yeah, yeah. I said, I don't know what's going on. Could be the last time you checked him. He's a Rosh Hashiva, so he should know where the Mizuzas are. Right. right. So I said, maybe you forgot to put one up. The kid was sleeping. You didn't want to put a knock on the door. Whatever it was, something could have happened or right. something fell off. And anything can happen. And I lo- he looked at me like I had four heads. It's fine. Right. Okay. You're going to tell me. <laughs> the yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway. So I, uh, I give him back the mezuzahs. Fine. The next morning. The next morning he calls me up. He says, Yaakov Mendel. He says, I get a mazel tov. And you have a big part of it. So, yeah. yeah. He says, all my children, whoever went out on a, for a shidduch, the first one they went out with was Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah, Baruch Hashem. This one, Nebuchadnezzar, the gate, the gate, garnished. So we thought, maybe check the mezuzahs. The mezuzah on his door was put on, well, upside, down. Was was put on upside down. And he has a picture of it. Upside down? Yeah, it was put on upside down. And he tells me he has a picture No, because it. it was... How, how, how can you not see it's upside down? Because it's in the cover. No, he... The, the, he see, he tells me he has a picture of it here, too. Shows me the picture. The picture shows me that because it's sitting... The, with the shit is upside... It's down below. Like, so you see the problem right there. But what do you need me for? Yeah. Well, yeah. Whatever. But the point is that you see how that had an effect. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, there's... A, there's a, you see behind you, there's a whole set of Sephora Mish with Aksuba. Everybody over there, that 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 author over there brings that a lot of people when they have shown bias issues, they look at the ksuba. They look. The Rebbe never sent anybody to look at the ksuba. I don't think. I did. He did. You know that? Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm aware of that. The Rebbe, I, well, Not with me, but I've heard that. I've heard that before. The Rebbe sent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Uh, but, and and people found out that they didn't, can't find the ksuba. Oh, that's another Allah. No, but the Rebbe would say to look at your look at your ksuba. And then they found out they couldn't. They don't have the ksuba. And also, all the so, that, so, so you have to have the new ksuba written, whatever. Yeah. But the point is, but 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 Bidikas film the mezuzahs is something the rebbe, the rebbe was very loose at, and and and, and Be, because I'm going to say why, because unfortunately, it's like he said, it's like you said before. Same garments for alamin. Yet they know any time they can hire, you can write a mezuzah. What's what's behind that time they can hire? Vets Yeah, but it's out there for sale. Okay, I know that you're running to a pl- airplane. Maybe she should give you koyach to be mamshich to do your good work. Amen. And all is on her maksivach simetayvik. Amen. Yep, Kol tov. Yeah.